Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Wow, we look at this place. That lady's missing a pant leg. Yes. What's up with that? Hi, Wilt. Wilt the stilt. Wait, what's this? The Stormcloaks hired the Dark Brotherhood to kill Elisif? I'm a Stormcloak, and I'm in the Dark Brotherhood. I feel like I should know this. Oh, I don't believe those rumors, my friend. Besides, who would ever want to harm such beauty? A uh, Stormcloak <laughs> would? I heard a rumor that Rorkstead is full of danger worshippers. I've heard that theory before. Like, the reason Rorkstead has such good farming or something is because they sold someone's soul to a demon or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting soft in my old age. But I actually believe you. Well, ain't that something. I. Alright. Yes. So we're here. We should probably find out where that one lady is. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Sort of lied. I, do I don't know how I feel about her. You! What's on your mind? Hello. Tell me about this place. We are a group of bounty hunters and mercenaries. We call ourselves the Fellowship of Vigilance, and uh, this inn is our base of operation in Skyrim. What do you do in this Fellowship of Vigilance of yours? Well, I suppose you could say we're a bit like uh, the companions in Whiterun, except we don't beat up old people for money and uh, we're not secretly a bunch of werewolves. Our focus is on bigger jobs. Ones that actually make a difference in shaping Skyrim's future. More than that, we don't just take in brutes who can swing a sword or axe, but we we look to other talents as well. Hmm. Alright. <sighs> Listen, I like senseless violence, so I don't know if I'm totally on board with whatever you got going on here, friend, but whatever, I'll play along. Why you keep the door locked? We're a members only club. Everyone here has a unique skill set and agrees to share the knowledge with other members. If you want to join, you got to prove yourself first. I thought this place was a brothel! I did. It is, but we're not going to openly advertise that. Is it illegal? It helps keep things uh, exclusive and reduces the risk of diseases spreading, if you know what I mean. So there's a bunch of diseases here? Oh, gross. Great brothel. And you let a kid live here? If you mean Jesse, then yes. After his parents were killed by skooma dealers, Aurelia found him trying to deal drugs in Whiterun. So we took him in. It's not an ideal situation, I'll admit, but uh, it's safe here, and preferable to being abused by the old hag running the orphanage in Riften. Dude, I wouldn't worry about the old hag in uh, Riften. She's dead. What I worry more about is the kid getting off by Isolde. Dude, she's running the drug game in Whiterun. Uh, but, uh, I digress. Um, I found a note. So you're the one who screwed up our kidnapping plot. My pleasure to meet you. You can call me Sam. Hi, Sam. This is Alva, and around here somewhere is, uh, Inigo. He's the blue cat. I'm the king of lizards. I have many titles that I will not tell you right now. What was up with that kidnapping plot? There's a need to know and a nice to know. All you need to know is you owe us a debt. The fuck I do? That operation took weeks of planning. All down the drain now. The only reason you're still alive is you eliminated our payroll obligations by taking out the mercenary bandits we hired. That and uh, Aurelia seem to think you might be useful. Right. I kinda wanna kill you now because apparently you think I owe you something. I'm the goddamn king of lizards. I don't owe anybody shit. She's my adopted daughter and right-hand man, so to speak. But that's a story for another time. What do you want? There's a legend of an ancient voice shout that was lost to time. It's called Disarm and Destroy. The shout has three words, each taught by a different spell tome. I need you to track down the spell tomes and return them to me. Do this and I'll consider your debt paid. Okay. And they're buried in dangerous locations? Here, I wrote down all the details on this note. Have a look. You'll want to take some backup on this mission, so talk to Aurelia before you head out. Oh, you want me to bring Aurelia? Oh, what does she do? You'll see, trust me. Now go, and don't come back without all three spell tomes. Yeah, I'll come back whenever I want, you son of a bitch. Why do you want them? What is it with you and all these questions? Find the spell tomes and see for yourself. Whatever. 
Ugh, okay. Well, if we're gonna get a new guy to hang out with us, we gotta ditch someone else. And we ditched Alv on the last one, so in the go, we're gonna have to ditch you on this next one. Unless you wanna sit down and talk. You wanna sit down and talk, you big goof? Is there a good place to sit? I, might, I wonder. Hello! Have a drink. Hi, Rest Carmen. Stay a little while. Are you a, are you a prostitute? <laughs> Wait, I swear I just had an option. It said, "Are you a prostitute? Are you a vampire? You looked a little thirsty when you were checking me out." Ha 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 ha! Was it that obvious? Damn. Wait, I are you actually a vampire? Wait. Oh, you have a technique? I think I can teach you a thing or two. About what? Oh. She mm -hmm. is a whore. Okay. I'm gonna leave you to it. <laughs> okay. Kinda here with the misses right now. Peace may yet return to Skyrim, but until then, we fight. Right. In a go. I will aid you if I can. Sit down. Hmm? We're gonna have a chat and I'm gonna ditch you, my friend. Oh shit. Take a break, legs. You have earned it. I just remembered. I was supposed Feel to have you hanging out at my house. Quests. We'll do it off screen, okay? Yes, my friend. Do you ever wish your fur was a less unusual color? I used to. Not so much now. When I was a child, it became clear that my unusual appearance would make my life a little harder. But these days, it usually does not bother me. We are all odd in one way or another. I say embrace it. Got that right, friend. Agreed, but people can be cruel. It must be hard sometimes. Those who enjoy trying to make others feel worthless are worthless to me. They usually lack any remarkability of their own. All they can offer the world is bile. I do not worry too much about the opinions of the heartless and cruel. The worst part, the reason I cannot wholly ignore my strangeness, is the reactions from those who do not even know they are reacting. Sage advice, my friend. Go on. As I am sure you know, how someone appears can largely determine how they are treated by other people. A physically beautiful person usually lives in a world with a great many courtesies and smiles. On the other hand, a seemingly unusual individual often exists in a realm of awkward glances, disdain, and sometimes open hostility. I gain nothing from ignoring this fact. Whenever I notice a negative reaction, I try to bear my uniqueness in mind. Ignorance is regrettable, but it is not a crime. Anyway, I am at peace with my appearance now. I have grown into it. I no longer dwell on what makes me different, but I am aware that I am. Oh, that's a good attitude. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly normal. I'm a, I'm a lizard with a real ego problem. No one even declared me king of lizards. I just decided it one day after I killed a dragon, and got I got a little, well, power crazy a little bit. Like I am glad it is so. I like you just the way you are. I suppose we are all strange to someone, my friend. This is true. Unfortunately, certain people will always distrust what they do not understand. My coloring does not define who I am to me. That is what is important, I think. Very true. <laughs> you blew my, you blew abomination. <laughs> no. No, good talk. Good talking to go. Okay. Okay. What do you wish to discuss? I was gonna ditch you, actually, but now I don't really want to, because you have many thought-provoking things to say. Let me summarize the shit our friend Indigo just said. The people that care don't matter, and the people that matter don't care. There we go. Um, anyway, on that note, I am going to use my spell on you. Wait, no. What is on your mind? Oh, right, right. I just remembered how to ditch people with this mod. Hold on. I, I have to get that menu back. That's right. There we go. And then I command you to be dismissed. <clears throat> Bye, Inigo. Good talk. Are you leaving? Mm-hmm. Okay, get out of here. Okay, be safe. I will be in Riften if you need me. 
I'll hit you up later, dude. You can stay at my house since I have a way to do that now. Okay. All right. We're good. Hello, Diane the Cannon. I hope you're not planning on picking my pocket. Does it... Do I look like I'm going to? Okay. Where'd you learn to fight, lady? Ah, just got lucky is all. Bumped into someone who knew someone else. The rest just writes itself. It sure does. I'm gonna go now. Until next time. I think you're fucking with me. Okay. Oh, you! Hi! I trust you're not planning any trouble. You what can I do for you? You done sat down right next to me. Oh my god. Hi, you're the person I'm supposed to talk to. You ditched me in that cave and had me kill a bunch of mercenaries. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. You know what I mean? No, I don't. You aren't angry about it, right? I don't really give a fuck. I should be asking you the same question, but all right. So, we gotta find some spell tomes. Wait, you aren't referring to... No, there's no way you would know about that. Know about what? The thing the guy just told me about? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. No, and I'm not about to either. I value my life, you know. You may want to remember that for yourself. I don't even know what's happening anymore. This is a noble goal, indeed. What? Aurelia is now available to be your companion. Talk to her again to recruit. Read Aurelia's diary in her inventory to learn all the things she can do. Okay. I'm gonna do my zappy zap spell and you're gonna be one of my you're not best friends. Any trouble. Bam! What can I do for Just you, like man? that. Do you want a pant leg? I notice you're lacking a pant leg. Do you you want me There's to a nip in the air? What can I do oh, for you, friend? You, you want me to help you out? You know what? Whatever. Let's get going. Yeah, let's just go. So yes. He doesn't even have a pant leg. You see Stay this? Sharp out there. You seen this shit? What are your thoughts? I came home to Skyrim when it was all over, but I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. This has nothing to do with pant legs. I'll take my leave then. I'm gonna talk to someone else. Be careful out there. And pray to mighty god RK, who's not all that mighty. I don't know. I've never met him, so I couldn't really say. You're a well-traveled sort. I, I can tell just looking at you. All these people keep talking. Hey, you wanna get high? <laughs> what the fuck was this kid? Did you just ask me to get high? That's great. Tell me a joke. Why don't you see many Kaji around anymore? They must have gone elsewhere. Yes, that's where I got his name. Elsewhere. Yeah, well done. Did you hear about those farmers from Hammerfell? They've got curved gourds. You're ridiculous. Why do so many bards battle with crippling depression? Because they live in solitude. <laughs> you finally got a good one, kid. Well done. I'll give you one more shot. What's the best armor for thieves? Hide armor. Get it? That is garbage, and I am done with your jokes. You got any drugs? Check this out. It's called Aurora. What does it do? It gives you an all-natural high. Way better than skooma. It's also non-addictive, and there's no bad side effects. That's bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. If it's good, it's addictive. That's how addiction works. Usually 80 gold, but for you, I'll discount it to 50. Want to try some? Can we talk him down? Sure, why not? All right, here you go. Let's get high. Uh, Aurora added. Sam told me your parents are dead. That's fun. My buddy Aventus told me about the old witch that runs that place. I'm not going anywhere near there. Oh, I killed her. It's cool, Besides, man. Besides, I like it here. Sam and Aurelia are really nice to me. And there's lots to learn from the warriors and mages who pass through. I guess that makes sense. But didn't anyone teach you that selling drugs is wrong? I hear what you're saying, but people want to feel good. Drugs offer that, and there's nothing anyone can really do to stop it. Fair enough. If there isn't a safe drug for people to use, they'll use a dangerous one like skooma. So don't feel bad offering something different if it keeps people from becoming addicts. Uh, sure. <laughs> that tag game is a trap. It never ends. Oh, yeah, it is a bullshit. I've tried it. It doesn't end. It's an endless quest. Where do you get your drugs from? I make them with a special recipe I learned. Oh, cool. How did a kid at your age learn how to cook crack? It's hard to explain. At my parents' funeral, one of the guests, Sam Gouvin, I think his name was, 
saw that I was crying. Mm. He offered me a mug of ale to make me feel better, so I drank it. And then I don't really remember after that. So you got roofied by saying we do, huh? Morning, I felt different. I was smarter and stronger too. I had this urge to use an alchemy station, which to my surprise I knew exactly how to do. So I started experimenting, working on a drug to make people feel good without any bad side effects. Eventually I came up with Aurora. What are you doing hanging out in a brothel? Well, it's a long story. At first I tried selling drugs in Might Run. They had this place called the Cloud District. Sound like a good spot for people who wanted to get high. I get it, because clouds are up high, right? Yeah, like that. Well, okay, whatever. If I didn't stop, they threatened to send me to the orphanage in Riften. I didn't know what to do after that. Then Aurelia found me and offered me a place to stay with her. I've been living here ever since. Good deal. You gonna be a drug dealer the rest of your life? No, selling drugs helps me save money. But my real goal is to eradicate Skuma from Skyrim and replace it with something better. That's going to mean taking out some Skuma dealers and getting the existing supply of Skuma off the streets. You want to come with me and help? To kill some drug dealers? Yeah, okay. I'm nine, but don't let that fool you. I'm good with a dagger. I can also cast some pretty cool spells, too. Bullshit. I'm not entirely sure, but it was the same with the alchemy knowledge. When I woke up the next morning after drinking that potion, I just knew how to do it. So what do you think? You want to go kill some skooma dealers together? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, sure. All right, let me know when you're ready. Uh, Jesse is now available to be your companion. Oh my god, we are lousy with companions right now. Read Jesse's diary and his inventory to learn of all the things you can do. Ask Jesse. You know, I don't need to learn the special things you can What's do. The plan? I'll just figure it out eventually. Okay, I guess you're. Uh, Anything I can do to help? I guess you're following me around, kid. Jesus. We're lousy with companions right now. So many companions. Hello. Hello. Um. Wow, lots of dialogue options too. I can optimize your outfit. What does that even mean? Can I give you a pant leg? Okay, just this once. Okay, where's the two pant legs option? Uh, about your body armor? I couldn't help but notice you have any... Okay. Take off the hood. This is part of me. Guard it with your life. Sure. Okay. Uh... Right. Uh, this is weird. Um... I'm gonna ask it, though? I do. I've been working on mine for a while now. It's flawless. Yeah, that's great. Uh... It shows, have you ever thought about comma, um, period, 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 period? Still something you'd like me to do. I'm not sure. What am I getting at? But whatever I'm getting at, I am, I am very embarrassed to ask about it. It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. Are we gonna... Don't be shy. Are we gonna eat people? Oh! We want you to get naked! So I can fortify and enchant it for your body armor. Oh, all right. Are you joking? I, I'm it not takes sure. It a lot of confidence to walk around naked. Trust me on that. Nonsense. I do it all the time. Well, I've certainly heard worse things. Okay. If that's what you want. I guess so. Uh, we're asking this lady to get naked? Why? I just wanted you to get a pant leg. Maybe one day. Just not today. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, Elvis right there, my wife. Oh my God, this is awkward. Uh, let's go. Hello. You wanna, you got jokes? You tell jokes, fantastic. Where did Daedra go to dance? To the Molag Ball. You suck and I hate you. Fuck. <laughs> All right, what the tits are we doing? This mod is weird. Just find the spell to disarm and destroy, part one, iron bind barrel. Ah, yes, 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 I know of that Come on place. in. We got warm food, warm drinks, need something. Warm Are you a goddamn member of the Mythic Dawn? Can you teach me to conjure a giant to fight for me? What? Can't tell you. It's a bit of a trade secret I picked up when I was living in High Rock. <laughs> That's something. 
You ever feel like conjuring a Heteronax is kind of useless? That might be so, but it will never stop me from trying. It's not useless. What are you talking about? Wisdom? Take a look. Oh, my bad. I clicked the wrong thing. All right, then. What I want to know is if you're in the Mythic Dawn or not. I'm not Need getting something? any options to ask that. Whatever. We could talk to people in a bar all day. We have drug dealers to kill and books to get? I thought we were on a quest to kill drug dealers. 